this video, we're going to cover three core concepts when it comes to searching for literature effectively. Boolean searching, truncation, and phrase searching. First off, Boolean searching. Now, we like a good pun, but Boolean searching isn't as spooky as it sounds. We're a big fan of the Boolean search approach, and this is actually a series of search operators that underpin most modern search functions, even the ones on your phone. Boolean searching consists of using the words and, or, and not. And allows for you to search for several concepts together. So if you want to find materials on apples and oranges, you would write apples and oranges into your search bar. Or allows for you to search for those same concepts, but any occurrence of them. Searching this way could get you results that include both apples and oranges, or just apples or just oranges. So you would put apples or oranges in your search bar for this option. Then we have not. This is a great way of excluding certain search terms. So if you're looking for resources on apples and oranges, but you keep getting stuff about pineapples, you can deliberately exclude any mention of pineapples by writing apples and oranges, not pineapples. Simple. Then we have truncation. What truncation does is it allows you to use a certain symbol to replace part of a word. Often this symbol is an asterisk, but you'll occasionally find some databases refer things like an exclamation mark. This information is usually on the front page of any database searching page, so don't worry if you're not sure if you're using the right one. Why would you want to replace the part of the word though? Well, sometimes you'll get words with slightly different spellings like internationalization and internationalization. We've got our American English friends to thank for that. So you can use an asterisk to simply look for international. Not only will it also look for variations on spelling, but it will also look for other endings too, like internationalized, internationals, and so on. You can also just use the asterisk in the middle of a word to replace a single letter if you want to. You might sometimes hear this referred to as wildcard searching, because it increases the chance of you getting a certain spelling of a term you hadn't thought of. Then we have phrase searching, or forcing your search. Sometimes you'll want to search for a very particular phrase, such as survival of the fittest. If you just put those words into a search bar, you would get the words survival, and of, and the, and fittest, appearing in your results, but they'll more than likely appear in different parts of an article, and not together as a set phrase that you want. So try putting any phrases into speech marks. Often the double speech mark approach works. This will tell a database that you want it to look for those words in that specific sequence and in that specific order together. This is also handy if you're looking for set terms, such as Latin spellings of species names or scientific names for certain diseases. You can also use parentheses, often brackets, to get your search to execute itself properly. Much like the brackets used in mathematical equations, by grouping more complicated searches together using brackets means that a database you are using will know to go through the first set of bracketed search instructions first, then the next, and so forth. It will solve your searching equation in the correct order, meaning what you get back should be more focused and precise than if you just bung those search terms in with no structure. You can supplement all of these techniques by using inbuilt filtering and post-search limiting options that are built into many modern databases. Many databases also have drop-down menus, so you can build up your search line by line rather than having to write one big long string out. This can make it easier to manage what you're searching for and when you might want to remove a line that's causing some issues with your overall searching. So there you go. Three techniques to get your searches working how you want to, rather than them giving you loads of stuff you don't want.